hearing this message and wish to lose 50 pounds permanently, then write this phone number down. 352-633-0473. Dr. Juan Jordan's office in Lady Lake is offering the first 15 callers a free metabolism and body fat analysis with a comprehensive, in-depth fat burning consultation. You have nothing to lose. Please call 352-633-0473. All right, five minutes after 8 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in. Nice looking Tuesday morning. Galen Unold is on the phone from Life South Community Blood Center. Good morning, Galen. Hey, good morning, Larry Robin. How are y'all? Pretty good. We got a short visit with you today. Got a, an interview at 20 after. Mm-hmm. There was a story this morning uh, about uh, the twins uh, conjoined at the, at the scalp. And, right. uh, and they were separated uh, by doctors. And so this, this that's part of this conversation. It's just, it's just amazing to me that... What we can do, you know, what in, in your in your world, in the world of blood, uh, do you see changes from when you first started doing this? Like that, that almost would you would you wouldn't have, have ever believed back then, in, when you first started. Uh, yeah. As far as the testing, the testing has become um, so sophisticated, and uh, you know, when I was when I started, we had just kind of gotten around to HIV testing, where it was. You know, back then the window period for HIV positive was was four months. Now it's it's four days. So it that that just kind of gives you an idea. Now we do Zika testing. The the testing side has just grown by leaps and bounds. Um, the the product usage uh, it kind of ebbs and flows. I mean, there was a time when um, donations were going down, and now they're kind of going back up. So that kind of thing, the, the treatment is, is kind of interesting because they're now treating, uh, giving blood transfusions when they haven't in the past, and now they're also not giving blood transfusions for, for treatments that they used to in the past. So mm-hmm. it's constantly evolving, constantly evolving. Do you, do you, have you ever done a, um, a blood drive in, oh, I guess, in capitalizing on an election year? Like, you cast your vote with your... Oh, sure. Yeah, how do, yeah. You, do, how do you do that? I mean, it's got to yeah. be something... Well, well you know, you, you, you know we'll, we'll do something like vote for life. Or, well, no, I did vote for life one time, and that oh, okay. was bad. That was bad? Pro-life, well, pro-life, pro, pro-choice people oh. didn't like that. Oh, oh you're uh, kidding me. Okay. But I didn't even I think about it. I, you know, and now when I say it, every time I say it, it pops in my brain. So that was that was a problem. But yeah, we've uh, done. Um, crazy. You know, we've done things like um, choose the best candidate, be a blood donor, or something like that. You uh-huh, know, where uh-huh. you have like the check box and the donkey and the elephant. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, that's yeah. pretty clever because people really know that Life South Community Blood Centers is in tune with our community, and you always come up with something clever and fun to help uh, people do something that's going to impact a life. Sure. Yeah. I don't think we'll do one again. It, it, we <laughs> didn't want to touch it this election um, yeah, for right. obvious reasons. It's just, well, uh, you know, the last thing you want to do is, is create any animosity and... and uh, yeah, and, and we just wanted to kind of avoid it. Well, uh, I know we have a short visit, but the, the, the topic I have for you today is based on a story that says one in 14 Americans has lost a friend over this presidential election. And, uh, I believe it. Yeah, and so I, I kind of wanted to just ask, what it, like if you could predict now what you will remember about this election cycle, given maybe a year or two from now, what kind of things would, would you still remember? Um, well, I think... Uh, what Trump said in that bus will resonate with our, uh, with us, and and in our, for, for not the right reason. All right, let me ask you something but about we'll, what he said we'll in the stay bus. Stay with us for a long time. Let me ask yeah. you something. I I told Robin, and this is absolutely true. Now you and I are close enough. I might say something off color to you, but I would never right. say it to you yeah. when I first knew you. And, and I certainly wouldn't say what he said. Not that what he said was that bad. I'm not. I'm not trying to say anything bad. Bad, but I would never say that. I would never say that. Mm-hmm. Grab somebody. Uh, would you pull somebody uh, by their genitals? Uh, no, no. But I have. Um, you know, and I, I was talking to a friend about this because he's like, "Oh, you've got to know when you have a microphone on." I'm like, "Look, I've been in. I've been in many locker rooms. I have interviewed many athletes where." You know, sometimes you're coming just off the field or just off the basketball court and they're upset about things or, uh, and, and they have said things that were picked up on the mic that I never, that I would never air. 
because they they didn't know that they were on the right. on the on, the, on right. there. Right. So, uh and have I have I you got it? It's tough with with what you know the position that that Billy Bush was put into. Oh, Here I, he is. He's about to interview this guy, and, right. and of course he's going to kind of laugh along with it because he wants to get right. this guy's trust. He's oh, about I to get, go live on the air. I get Billy Bush's um, predicament. I I, I don't yeah, agree with I, Melania. I've heard, Melania says Billy Bush but, egged him on. I don't. I didn't hear that. It's not what I heard in that interview. We don't know. We we didn't. We, and that's the thing. You don't get the whole tape. You just get the parts that are that are salacious. Um, I, and it doesn't matter. It, I mean, Trump is an adult. He, he, he right. if he gets egged on, he's not twelve. Right. right. Um, so that that's not an apology. But uh, I've heard worse. I have heard. Oh worse. yeah, yeah. Well, so, yeah. But, I, and and and, and my, I guess your question is is, is valid. I, I mean, yeah, I've been in the situation where uh, people have you know talked like that. You just kind of you know roll off, let it roll off you. I've had people in the studio that just went completely off on people during a commercial break, and you're like, okay, didn't know that was coming out of you. And then you get on the air, and they're oh, it's just a great person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yep. I um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I understand what you're saying, but um, I also understand what Trump is saying with locker room talk. It doesn't apologize for it. I, I would never say it in front of a woman. I would never. I, I, I just wouldn't do it. But I could tell you, I heard a whole lot worse when I was in the Navy. <laughs> I, I can tell oh, you, and yeah, I, I probably yeah. said a whole lot worse when you know, I was in the Navy. When, when the but it doesn't make it right. I, I don't. I want to make it clear it doesn't make it right. Yeah. Well, um, you, you know when the so. when the vagina monologues were a thing in Ocala, mm -hmm. we sure. we had people who came in here to talk about the vagina monologues and wanted to be sure to say that the title of the play or whatever you yes. call it <laughs> as many times as they possibly could thinking that somehow right. It was pushing my buttons that there's no way those words would ever come out of my mouth. Mm -hmm. And I remember lambasting one of them, saying, "You know what? I've had a, I've had a, what was that? I've had a lot of vagina monologues, and, and yeah. I've had some dialogues too." <laughs> yeah, that was funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, how how is the blood supply? What do we need to know? Um, yeah, we uh, have a five day blood supply. Just need to keep collecting. This is this is our this is our prime time for collecting blood donors no real holidays and then we got halloween coming up which is our own personal little christmas at the blood center we love it and uh so we just need people to get out there give to get the wife donate blood donate blood and uh and, and there you go so make sure and make sure you thank our two sponsors where's my little cheat sheet here palm garden and pen flooring are the two sponsors that we like to thank for this announcement each morning our, our visit with galen today is a little bit short because we have a, a guest coming on to talk about those uh uh, about pre pre what do you call it uh fetal surgery yes they actually do surgery on babies when they're not even born mm -hmm. yet Isn't yeah that, that's just yes. amazing to me it is that's incredible godsend. it's a blessing uh, yeah. the medical field is amazing uh, palm gone. garden is an example of that amazing medical field 21st century technology over there to help you rehabilitate and uh go over there and see for yourself uh the weightless or, or the zero gravity uh, treadmill you, where you can actually work your muscles in your leg without having any pressure at all on your ankles and your knees. Yeah, that is just, amazing. Just, and your hips, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, that, of course, long-term health care, short-term uh, rehab care, and respite care, all part of what they do. And, of course, skilled nursing, an important part of their name. Well, that's not their name. but Beautiful. It's, yeah, yeah, I think. Yeah. I stumble over every one of these things. Okay, Penn Flooring, also thank them. They've got beautiful flooring. We've got some of it right here at WOCA. And see for yourself what they can do for your home or your office and um, remodel from the floor up there at 1201 Southwest 17th Street, just over the McKay Williams Bridge. Thank you, Penn Flooring, also for sponsoring Galen. You know, we have about a minute left. So, what, what do you think you'll take away? Do you think you'll remember the name Carly Fiorina or Ben Carson or even Bernie Sanders in, in a year from now? Yeah, I, I, think, I think you'll, you know, we'll see. But yeah, I, I think they are part of, uh, I think they'll go away. Ben Carson, uh, I'll remember just because I saw him speak, and I think it's hard not to remember Bernie Sanders. Um, I, I think their time is gone, but uh, it, it'll be interesting to see how both parties come away from this election. I, I think that's going to be the key. Are they both going to fundamentally change and adapt to what America is looking for in a candidate now? I mean, you, you know, in this day of social media, there is no, there are no secrets. You know, gone are the days where you could hide infidelities or, um, 
you know, even drug addictions and things like that. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, or sen- senility or whatever it was. So, uh, you know, it's going to be interesting to see who the, who a candidate comes out in four years or in eight years. Well, with people like Kim Jong Un, whatever the guy's name is, in North Korea and and ISIS and groups like that, I just hope whoever's in office knows that these guys are really bad and we have to have a really strong military yes. o- otherwise yeah. th- we're done whoever it is well and i think but, 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 we, the one thing we can be sure of is is um hillary have a hi- has a history of going to war and 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 a strong defense because she likes to attack everybody and trump says he likes to attack everybody so um I, that's that that's to me, it's troubling on both fronts. But, yeah, I agree with you on having a strong military. We just don't always have to use it. Yeah, but it should be our first option. I wouldn't, yeah and, uh, yeah. and I hate when I say we need a strong military and somebody calls me a warmonger because I say that. Yeah, we uh, need it. You need, to, you need to be strong to defend yourself. You never need to be strong to be an, and, an aggressor. Mm-hmm. And, you know, Bill Clinton, he, he lessened the military in order to balance the budget. That was right. part of right. the whole balanced budget thing. Right. And I, don't, I think people forget that. Um you know, this is the smallest military's been since what World War pre World War Two or something. Yeah. Um, uh, now you could say that's a good thing, or you could say it's a bad thing, but um, it is something we need to look at. I mean, we don't need necessarily need the size fleet we needed in World War Two uh, because of the technology and, and things like that, and the way we can rapidly respond all over the world. I just, but at the same time, I don't want to fight in Mosul and then tell people we're coming to Mosul and when we're coming. But to I Bill, just think that's a, Bill, a bad yeah. idea. But Bill Clinton didn't go after the bombers of the coal either, so I don't think Hillary's a good role model for. I mean, Bill history. And, I, I, and, and, and trust me, the coal was very personal to me, and I, I saw the coal. I, I saw the damage that it did. You know, two years later. Um, but you know, hindsight gives you a lot more clarity than than you know in the in the fog of war. So it became a lot more clear who it was and how they did it and where they were and that he had an opportunity to get them afterwards. Uh, All right. It wasn't uh, clear at the time. Again, thank you for what you do. And, and uh, f- oh, yeah. just to recap, go donate blood. And uh, did I ask where the blood mobile is? Where is it? No. Yeah, we're at uh, Time Customer Service today, right there in the Cascade. Oh, okay. Old okay. Ground. All right. I wonder if anybody's in our old space. you think anybody's in that old office? No, no I don't think I don't so. Know. No. Probably still underwater. <laughs> 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 all right, again, be careful, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. All right, bye, y'all. All right, we'll be right back. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. Coastal flood advisories remain in effect into the evening at the beaches. Watch for rough surf and dangerous rip currents. Tuesday will start with a morning shower, otherwise a mix of sun and clouds with a high of 84 to 88. And Tuesday night will be partly cloudy, lows in the mid to upper 60s, inland 72 along the coast. Wednesday, partly sunny, high 83 to 87. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. Are you in need of custom screen printing, embroidery, or promotional items? Then look no further and come visit the brand new Legacy Team Sales. LTS is conveniently located off 17th Street next to Armstrong Homes in beautiful Ocala. We offer the best prices and highest quality products for your company, team, school, or nonprofit. Whether looking for screen printing, Shirts, embroidered polos, or travel team uniforms, you'll be sure to find it at Legacy Team Sales. Come visit our new 27,000 square foot facility. Our friendly and knowledgeable sales staff will assist you in every part of your custom purchase. LTS carries the hottest brands in the industry like Under Armour, Russell, Mizuno, Asics, Badger Sports, Guild.